We've done this before with him. That's why yeah. I This is the only off. chance he, we get to talk to you. That's right. I do a good job of hiding. You know, Chief, with my bad back, you really should be more accommodating. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I'm, you want almost, me to walk out I'm almost under the ADA requirements for you to have to speak with me. That's probably true. Well, I'm so how are you doing? I, I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Huh? Yeah. Excellent. This Things are quiet out there. Well, let's keep it that way for That's a while. That's the way. I didn't just jinx it, did I? Mm, I hope not. <laughs> Give me some wood. <laughs> there you go. Um, how do you like town meeting so far? You've been to a few of these now. Well. This one's about wearing me out already, though. Come on. It hadn't even started. No, I'm just uh, coming off of a bad cold. Yeah, I was going to say, you sound like uh, you get that deep voice going. Yeah. It's a, no, it's, it's interesting. It is truly, uh, I had no idea what to expect. The very first one, which was in October of 04, when I came here. And, uh, you know, I've read about town meeting before as being the ultimate pure form of government. And it really is an opportunity for people to make a difference in their community. Yeah, I was just talking to Alan Reinhardt, who's our, our new selectman, or one of our new selectmen, and I was asking him how you get people excited about coming to town meeting, and of course I always suggest fried dough, but uh, that hasn't made the wish list yet. You got no. any ideas for getting our young people involved in some of these aspects of town government? You know, I don't know if this would work or not, but one thing I remember when I was in school, we used to have mock UNs. And uh, maybe the school should entertain having a mock uh, town meeting. That's a great idea. Yeah, for the kids. You get yeah. them in here, tell them what you have a few articles sponsored, they got to speak on them. Exactly. Are you bucking for the superintendent's job? No, no, yeah, that's a tougher job than mine. <laughs> he can have it. <laughs> well, listen, uh, have a great time here. I hope you feel better. I will. And thanks for talking with us. Okay, you guys soon. have fun. Thanks. All right, see you. Okay, wait a now we're here with Patty Ragavine, who, uh, of course, is one of our new selectmen. How are you, Patty? I'm great. Congratulations. Thanks, Jamie. Now, your husband gave me a little Christmas goose early out in the hallway. <laughs> Snuck up behind me when I was interviewing somebody. I'm just gonna laugh. That's okay. How are things shaping up for you? It's good. It's really been a nice week. Um, I uh, um, I feel great in the position, and it's exciting to get started. And uh, otherwise, you know, it's uh, it's good to be part of town meeting in this capacity. And you know, from here, it's only going to get better. All right. Now let's lose the political correctness. Uh -huh. What are you gonna throw a fit about this year? <laughs> kidding, kidding. She's not gonna throw any Your fits. show, I'm sure. <laughs> Your show is really going to get under my nose. No, <laughs> yes. please. With, with all my subtle political commentary. I was just telling Brian Chadwick outside, I made a little crack about him last week, and I hope he doesn't take it personally. Oh, you did? Yeah. Did he actually watch it? <laughs> no, he didn't. So at least I softened See? the blow by telling him early. Well, listen, again, congratulations. Thank Good you, luck Jamie. at the town meeting. All right. Give him hell. Thank you, Jamie, right, very much. Bye-bye. See you. I'm here with uh, Chairman of the Board of Selectmen, Whitey Willauer. Whitey, how are you? Fine. Wonderful. We're ready to roll. Couldn't be better? Can't be better. Now, how, what's it like to, now that you've solidified your power base and you've taken over the town, how's that feel? Well, I've got your sister. That's my major problem. Yeah, well, you can, you can, you can push her out of the way, can't you? Can you tell me how? Well, wasn't there something in this town government study committee that was going to lever her out some way? No, we were trying to build her up. <laughs> I guess I read that backwards. Yes, you did. Has she been a good help? Uh, she is terrific. You're not just saying that? Uh, I'm saying it, yes, absolutely. <laughs> What's been your biggest challenge as uh, chair of the board of selectmen? To avoid this kind of interview. This kind of sandbagging interview? Yes, sir. Well, I think you're doing a good job. Well, thank you. I wish you meant it. I do mean it. Well, thank you very much, then. Not all of us lawyers say those things insincerely. I think you are doing a good job. Thank you. And uh, how are the IODs looking this year? Uh, we've got uh, 13 in the water. We're going to get two more. we got the World Championship coming on in September. We're going to have Nantucket Race Week, and I will be skippering Columbia again against the junior uh, senior senator from uh, Massachusetts. That's not the one that almost sank last year, is it? No, this is, uh, now you're talking about Senator Kennedy, who was my substitute in football in high school. Really? So that's where he got his claim to fame. <laughs> Backing you up? Yes, in, he was my football? backup. He didn't weigh as much then. <laughs> he, he's done nicely nicely since then. Now listen, Roy Whedon's been threatening to take me out on an IOD and have me uh, Well, I hope you will, because we'll teach you how to report from starboard. 
and I'm good ballast. Uh, yeah, we need more than just ballast. We need some uh, strength. Really? No, I don't have any. And, and brain power. Yeah. Well, I guess you might have to count me out then. Uh, no, we need a sort of tactical brain power, not uh, legalistic. Well, I don't. Have, I definitely don't have any of that. We've got enough sea lawyers out there. <laughs> well, listen. Um, good luck this year with the board of selectmen, and thank uh, you. good luck at this year's town meeting. I think you're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Take care. See ya. Two seconds. With you. Two seconds. I got to find our, oh, our representatives to you know, the legislature. I'm telling you. This. I'm telling you. Classic clips with the ponytail and the beard. Oh, no, to Mike Kopko, my hero. You, I, taught, I taught Jamie everything he knows about TV. I, I've learned all about local TV and interviewing people, by the way, from watching uh, Mike Kopko on TV. Those old ones have been on, huh? I bet yeah. a lot of people have been talking. To yeah. You're not being asked for autographs yet, are you? I look different. No, I've been being asked for different kinds of autographs lately. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you read the newspapers or not, Jamie. I don't. Okay. What, what are you wearing? I'm wearing, oh, that, I don't know, Libby, what was that cologne that you gave me for Christmas? It smells like a little eau de doo da day. It's just eau de doo da day. <laughs> no, it ain't Charlie, I can tell you that right now. Listen, nice uh, what do you got uh, on your hit list for town meeting this year, real quick? Uh, very important to get Article 60 passed so we can get start really working on the sewer system. That's you controlling that. the sewers, right? I'm, uh, yes. <laughs> There's you, a lot of stuff, man. You controlling the sewers to control growth, right? That's right. Next, I will control the world That's right. through the sewers. Not if, not if we get Libby all powered up. Right. See, have you seen her TV show? It's pretty good. It's a public service announcement. It Any, is not. Anyway, um, how's the new board looking to you? Uh, the board looks great. We got five sentient grown-ups on the board. Um, we're having. Uh, we had a great meeting today. We're all getting along well. I, I think we're going to really move the ball down the field here. Good. Well, listen. Uh, you have a great town meeting this Thanks. year. You're you doing too. a good job. Keep up your work. Thanks. Thanks. All right, okay. Take care. What's your name? Carrie Harvey. Carrie Fee. Okay. Okay. Come right up here. Oh, look at that look. Okay. Or you just come over here and then we'll just. I'm here with Libby Gibson. She's got a game face on. Um, Are you staring at Sarah to try to get her to get this thing started? No, I'm just um, waiting for it to get started. So it's to start like in 30 seconds. When's the last time we started on time? Um, 1984. <laughs> so it's been a couple of decades. Yeah. Um, how's how many looking for you this year? I think it's looking okay. I think if we buckled down tonight, we actually could get done in two nights. Yeah. I really do think that. But we'd be here till 11 or so every night. But I don't see it happening. But we got to do the work. Yeah, we got to do, do the, the work. heavy lifting. Yeah, yeah. I think it would have been easier if uh, Alan Reinhardt suggested bringing beers. Absolutely. Open bar right down here. That's my kind of yeah. selectman. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right, listen, we'll let you get to your stuff. Okay. Um, thank you so much for talking. Little bells ringing. That does. She just dropped it. That doesn't oh. mean anything. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. All right, see you. Bye. See you.